this is uh, a quick lesson on how to do um, the tick offset for higher ticks or how to hack any part of the staging in tools menu. Now, don't worry about doing this. You're not going to get in trouble with Geek. So I, I actually learned this from the Geek myself. Um, they, they don't mind you. It's only an initiation file that you're going to change. So what you can do, you can change fill or kill, the tick offset, the stop loss, or the play stop at by editing a, tick, a particular file I'm going to show you in a minute. On my tick offset, I actually want to pop 125 in there. I've had a few opportunities recently where I could have made 125 ticks. 150 was too much, um, and I had to lump for that 100. So I'm going to um, add this into my menu now and show you exactly how it's done. So the first thing you need to do is you need to close down. Make sure you close totally out of the gig toy. Close the whole thing down. Get out. I'm going to close literally everything. All right, so we're looking for a file I've got here, which is called, uh, where is it, this, this name here, sorry, Bet Tools drop down list option, okay, these are the actual instructions that I wrote out to show with other people, so. so that's what we're looking for, there's two ways you can find it, you can either hit the search button there, if you're on your C drive, I'll just open up another one. So you go to your hard drive and then you can just oh, type in there that file name, Bet Tools drop down list options dot XML. Okay, and you just type it in there and you'll find it. Now I'm going to not going to let this search run because this will take about 10 minutes. I've got a big hard drive, so um, you know. But if if you can't find another way, the easier way to find it is it's probably saved in the standard place. So we'll just go to your C drive, and we're looking for this file location, program data. Now as standard, that's a hidden file, so you might need to just type that in, which will look like that, to get in there, or you need to set your files to unhidden. Once you're in program data, you go to a gigs toy, a gigs toy again, then settings betfair. And this is where all your profiles and everything is saved. So it's literally just everything really your profiles. Um, so we're looking for this file here, bet tools drop list options. So we literally just open that up. Oh no, we don't open it up like that. We open it up with notepad. That's actually really important. So you open with and then you hit notepad. It's really important you open it up with notepad. Now if you look at the, the file, this is basically like an initiation file that tells it how to set up, or gigs how to set up the, the menus. You can see I've added extra ones in there above the 20 already. Fill or kill are down there, stop loss are down there, and stop at, which is part of the stop loss function, um, are down there as well. So you can add any numbers in there you like. So we're going for the 125 in this case. So all, literally, all I'm going to do, uh, Average returning, blank line, and I'm going to copy the line above, like that, copy, and down, paste. Now, I'm now going to change that number to 125. I hit save. By the way, I would recommend you make a backup of the file first, which is pretty easily done before you actually edit it. So that's done there anyway. We've got 125 in there. But I would recommend you just like copy and paste. I know what I'm doing, so I'm not too bothered. But if you're not too sure, just do copy and then hit paste. Then if you copy it up, you've always got the copy file that you can just rename back to the original file. I personally don't need that. And that's job done. Now if we if I close all this down, I'll leave the, the actual Details in the uh, link below, sorry, in the description below um, for you so you can find that easy. So don't worry about having to remember that from the file, from the video. Um, and then basically all you do is you look back into the Geek Toy. Sorry if I'm getting my words wrong, I'm pretty ad -lib. I've never planned anything out like most people do on YouTube. So look back in. Just waiting for it to load, la la la. 
as you have that box down, and you'll say now 125 ticks. Job done. It is that straightforward. Um, any questions, queries, whatever, just ask me. I'm more than happy to help. Um, it, is, it is quite simple to do, but it is easy to get in a muddle with it if you're not 100% sure, if you're not like 100% computer literate. Um, I take things for granted because I did a degree in computing, if that makes sense. So if it's, you know, if you're struggling with anything, not sure, just just drop me an email or, or leave a message. Um, other than that, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe. All the best in the market. Bye for now. Introducing Geek's Toy Trading Software, the fastest, most customizable and most popular software for betting and trading on Betfair and BetDAC. Designed by professional traders for you. Key features include unlimited desktop settings and the ability to create custom profiles to suit every user's needs. Unbeatable speed, real-time prices and one-click betting. Unique management of multiple markets. You can bet or trade on multiple sporting events simultaneously. Support for eight languages. Context-driven help on every window. Dutching and bookmaking. Training mode. Advanced charting. Enhanced navigation. Support for Betfair coupons. Stop loss and more. Geek's Toy. Possibly the best Betfair and BetDAC trading software in the world.